who want to goof it, a goat is being roasted or getting roasted that is a line that came in from dremo in response to sakodi that is what a lot of people are really talking about and is trending out on social media we need to talk about all of this we need to get interested in the story because most people are really raising their own opinion based on some certain sentimental issues while some other persons are looking at it word for word before i dive in proper i want to say thank you guys for watching our videos if you are new here you can click the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos now let's talk about this that is trending out on social media sakodi dropped a song called brag where he mentioned uh, davido whiskey and burner boy and a lot of other nigerian artists like asha care and talking about himself bragging about himself and this guy uh, Dremo took it like is it this or my ogre which is Davido and decided to reply Sakodi using his own voice which is rap and some people are really taking a swipe at Dremo why should he respond to Sakodi now we're talking about the revival of rap in Africa you want to stop the lies of Dremo from beefing a uh, person of uh, Sakodi that is not going to work because if you want to revive rap in Africa you should start something like this unless you know have a beef a little so that we can rejig the sector but instead of some people to look at word for word look at you know the quality of the verse that Dremo did they are looking at the awards of uh, you know Sakodi that is not really right you know let me tell you one thing about the Gen Z's. You say you be OG, you have to prove yourself. That is something the Gen Z's respect a lot. The likes of Two Face is still in the studio doing songs with the Gen Z's. This guy has not really fallen short of what he used to be. That is the way to prove yourself. But saying that a person of Dremo has zero achievement that he needs not respond to Sakodi or Sakodi needs not respond to you know, Dremo, that is not going to help the rap sector because remember that a few months ago whiskey said rap is dead and right now you have the opportunity to revive the rap and now you are saying the lies of Dremo should go and sleep it's not a game of the og it's a game of what you can prove right now i listened to Dremo. that verse was a serious bomb uh, on the you know sakodi and i think sakodi needs to actually respond and so that we can rejig the industry a bit but most nigerians are still taking swipes at uh, you know dremo saying that man dremo you know if he stands and all these kind of things it's left for sakodi to prove himself i will say some things about sakodi about african rap so that you will get to understand what is holding back sakodi right now because in recent time sakodi is not grossing in that awards that international recognition he used to before that is something you need to understand i will share it with you guys so that you get to understand about this but before i share with you this you have to listen to dremo's verse uh, shut up don't give a fuck about what anybody talk about don't know what you're bragging about you know we got him and him and not bad boy die got me in my life with the fire i'm about to spit i need another mic how about doo doo how far is our well so we don't care if you can't before we up be up on a bar she care of black sheriff let me mention doing better listen to me i want to let go shut up shut up not ice i'm cold take a fuck the nap if you're trying to control fuck us on me because i thought i'll let him go i'm at the fret but i'm on my ten toes compose watching your body get decomposed if you want to play with chaos if you come close on colors i'm 50 you pop i want smoke your biggest competition is to say what Nigga thinking Nick K-Dot Niggas doing anything to stay up I know you still wanna be famous You are just don't wanna be Jay-Z Show you the chicken now cause she don't really wanna be Who wanna eat over fake cause it's gonna get getting roasted Nigga I brag different when your shit ain't a brand talk Like the odds walk they can put the Talk to you too light For a black guy your bars are too light With or without the reply I'll be out soon yes I will still strike My killer who's who I do He don't respond you losing my bro I'm not even else in the author If you reply or not just then reply your rapper what can you say out of this? What is your own take about this? Because this is going viral. A lot of people are really responding to that and saying that, you know, Sakodi not start before. Not be Sakodi because if this guy starts, you go run and all those kind of things. Let's listen to Sakodi's, you know, song that generated a lot of reactions. Them, I was already doing it. If it don't started when I was improving it, then no dogu came through. Black shit, we still can't still come with you. Thought I was losing it. My biggest competition is Kendrick and Cole. You know, talking about the quality of a good rap 
at it, you have to understand that a good rap artist needs a storytelling ability and that is something you need to actually understand. Checking it against the verse of Dremo, yes, there was a good storytelling and that is really crafty to an extent and also you have to look at vocabulary that is the vocabulary of rap you know how rich is your words you know in terms of those words you you coughed out in the verse those are the things you have to look at but when you look at what dremo has said about you know Sakodi, you understand that to an extent is rich in that vocabulary because you know the ability to collocate words in verse is really really something that we have to look into language universality is another part we need to look into you know when you look at what dremo has done you know he used english language and which is universal language Language that will reach a wider audience and that is a good one and it's all interesting for us to actually understand that yes this guy has become so matured right now and we need not just talk him off right now that is something i can say about the whole thing lyricism and wordplay is an interesting part there you have to look at simile metaphor you have to look at um you know uh, onomatopoeia and a lot of literature or literary terms and the rest you know when you check the opening or uh, sentence of this particular guy you will get to understand that man this guy roasted sakodi in that particular verse and we have to give it to him some people are saying that yes you know you have zero achievement you don't have any right to respond to sakodi that is not my case when you look at it like that that means you know no um, other rapper should come after uh, the lives of Sakodi, because Sakodi still started from zero achievement. That is something you need to understand. So let's forget about this. Let's look at what this guy has put off and let's see what it will generate later. The opinion of past glory, whether this guy don't get BET, get uh, you know MTV awards and other things, that is not going to help the rap sector because if we bank on old glory to preserve the rap sector is not going to really work. We need the OGs to come on and do something about the rap sector and you know show the new guys that man, you guys can do it. This is how to do it and all these things. You can only do that when you enter or jump into the vocal booth. That is why I love MI so much. When MI leads rappers to do cipher, this guy always do it like a big boy. Like you know, after others do their verse, MI will jump on it and close. The whole thing and show them that man i approve of you that is how to really go that is how to really grow the rap sector and i have to give props up to mi abaga because this guy has actually raised a lot of rappers the lies of black bones the lies of um you know uh jesse jacks a lot of others this guy has actually impacted in their lives to an extent and that is the quality of a good rap artist and you have to demonstrate it practically for the gen z's before they can start respecting you talking about universality of you know rap in africa i don't see a person of uh, you know sakodi as a universal rap artist in terms of the language choice and other things most of his rap songs are done in his dialect so i see him more of a dialect artist and those are not really helping him to actually reach international and global audience to an extent so he needs to diversify he needs to do something global a bit that is one thing a lot of people can really attest to based on what we're seeing right now when you talk about uh, guys that are into this you know with their universal language you should talk about m i abaga you should talk about nasty c you should talk about vector you should talk about yes late aka i think those guys actually did that you know in english language try to reach a global audience and they achieved a lot of good feet with that that is something you need to understand so sakodi is a fantastic artist but he needs to do well enough what are your own takes about this i want you to put it in the comment section so that we can talk about it further before i jump off i want to say thank you guys for watching our videos and thank you for the love so far if you are new here you can click the subscribe button below the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos